Hey everybody, welcome back to MacBooks 2007. Today I'm going to be reviewing book two in the Seven Wonders series by Peter Larangus, Lost in Babylon. Let's get into it. Jack McKinley just finished retrieving the first Lokali, Flight, from the Colossus of Rhodes when Marco steals it and flies away. They track Marco to modern day Israel and see him all bruised up and broken. He tells them that he flew around the world on a joyride and suddenly the Rogalai crashed. All of the team, Cass and Allie, believe his story, but Jack remains skeptical because he knows that Lokali don't stop working when in contact with a select or descendant of Kariah or Masarayim. All four of the selects jump into rushing stream and they wake up in ancient Babylonia, times when the hanging gar gardens were still around. After a lot of snooping, they find out where the hanging gardens are, only to be attacked by hundreds of visits, or super agile, fast Komodo dragons that spit acid that kills people. They have to retreat back to modern times, only to find that three weeks have passed, and that they are due for the G7W cures a long time ago. Therefore, they collapse and have seizures. They go back with Torquin and find that Marco is making long trips to different places and seems quite suspicious. After they kill the guardian of the second Lokali, they find the foursome find themselves in a room with hundreds of traps. Cass maps out the safe passages to the Lokali, and Jack touches it, sees it, and it's the Lokali of invisibility. As they take it out of the building, Babylon designs and crumbles away. They barely escape. They find that Marco has betrayed them for the evil Masa and that the Masa captured Cass and Jack. Ali escapes to tell the K.I. The Lokali they worked so hard to get are now in the hands of their enemies and Marco is happy all the while. Cass and Jack steal both of the Lokali back from the Masa and blow it up from the help of someone inside the Masa who Jack discovers to be his long dead mom from a photo that he stole from the Masa. They then escape with Allie to the K.I. I like this book so much. I even liked it as much as the first, but I do have some complaints. The book was too short and the base of the Masa was not well described as it should be. Otherwise, I think this was extremely well written. I give this book a 9.2 on the macrometer. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time on MacBooks 2007.